we're going to go ahead and try this uh, diethylene glucol. Uh, uh, I've never used it before. Uh, you, it says you just put it right in the stove. And so we'll go ahead and huh, we'll go ahead and open that up. Interestingly, the a little bit of morale booster here uh, on the back of this. It says Murphy says if it's stupid but it works, it isn't stupid. And that's true. Kind of look like a little ketchup package. And we'll just go ahead and put this in. Oh, it's a very thick gel almost like a, a squeezable jello and there's a lot of it in here so my guess is this is going to burn a long time my guess is, from what i understand it burns quite hot maybe hotter than the tri uh, trioxine um, because it's a gel you want to make sure you don't get it on your hands and get it into your food but we'll go with that and see how that works go ahead and light it up and again, we'll time that. A little harder to get lit. That trioxine lights a lot faster. I don't know if we got any burn going on there or not. Yep, yeah, it's, it did take. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it so that I've got a little bit of wind protection. And we're getting some heat off from that now. I have to admit that I, I actually prefer the trioxine from the standpoint of lightability. That uh, really didn't light very easily. But it is now burning and we've got it going. We'll let that burn and again we'll time it. In the meantime, that's the first time I've tried this, by the way. I bought this uh, this last winter over at the Army store in Idaho Falls. It is burning now, and it's burning with a fairly hot flame. Uh, certainly warm enough we could be cooking on it. You can see with this wind how that little wall that goes in the espit would be really helpful. I've actually made them out of a piece of license plate or a piece of a tin can. You can do that easily enough. Flatten it out and cut it so that it creates a, a, little, a little wall. You'll see that in the, the picture that I post of the espit stove. On Amazon, the Espit stove like this without the wall is $12.99. The Espit stove with the wall is $14.99. I would say even though you can make one fairly easily, it would be worth buying the one with the wall uh, because it does come with the stove. And also the stove has a little slot to stick that, that wall in that holds it kind of in place. So I would recommend that. This is gonna burn a long time. I'm going to go ahead and switch this to fast forward mode or to high speed mode uh, and we'll let that go and see how long it burns.
All right, we're at uh, a full 15 minutes and there's still a little bit of warmth coming off from there up until about uh, 13 minutes or so. We were getting, well, it's still, still just about as much flame as that uh, trioxine tablet had through its full four minutes. Now it's kind of sealed itself off. I think if I were to do it again, I'd spread it out a little better. Um, it kind of, this, this powder has sealed off some of the, what, what, uh, can burn. Uh, but, uh, there's still quite a lot of flame there more than I can put my hand down and hold. So it's, uh, it's continuing to burn. And, uh, well, right now we're reaching almost exactly 15 minutes. So Stuff's pretty good. Um, I'm not real excited about how hard it was to, to light. Um, my concern with that is that if, if I were really cold and the gel were really cold, my guess is it makes it harder to light. Uh, you don't have that uh, gas coming off from it that, that is what's burning. Um, I would say that a perfect situation would be the trioxine tablet, which is just almost instantaneous light. In fact, you can use your ferro rod to light that trioxine tablet. If you had uh, some of that in one of these, you could do some really serious cooking, I think, because with 15 minutes, especially that first 10 minutes where we had flames clear up uh, above the, the uh, stove, I think we would have uh, the opportunity for a really, really good cooking uh, surface. Something that obviously you could add another packet to. Uh, three of these packets in this case were five dollars. Um, you know, it's not that uh, inexpensive when you compare it to, say, butane or something like that. The difference, though, is that I can put two or three of those packets in this stove, put that stove in my pocket, and literally carry it with me, or, or in certainly in a day pack, in a purse, any of those kinds of things, and you've got you've got flame. I think we're out. Well, no, we're not. We still got flame coming off from that. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, call that done. We'll go ahead then and dump that out. Pull this over. Oh, up there. Now I've got a whole bunch more flame now that I've turned it over. You see that it had sealed itself off. Now I've got quite a lot of flame coming off that again. Uh, it has got some real burning power. Um, uh, actually, pretty dang good little product, particularly if you can get it started. Uh, something that, that is good. You see that... I'm handling that stove, it cools off pretty fast, and that's a, a real asset too, because uh, when I'm done e uh, cooking, um, simply throw that out and, and move on. So, uh, great process there, great product, and uh, we're gonna go ahead then, and I'm gonna go ahead and throw that out on the cement here. Make sure it's out. <laughs> 